I know my hair is down, this is not necessarily sanitary, but we are gonna make Beyond Meat Meatloaf. This is something that I've been making at my house. It's super easy. Um, my dad and boyfriend love it. It's also a good meal prep option. I think I've put this in my stories as something I've made for Derek for work, but I haven't shared like a recipe or posted pictures of it as I look sophisticated here. Anyway, so today I want to take you through how I make it because it literally takes like 15 minutes. I don't think this video will be 15 minutes, but if it is, you're welcome. Let's get right into it. Now I'm gonna get all my ingredients out, spread them out and show you what we've got going on and then start mixing and combining because that's really all that you have to do. <laughs> so <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> We've got all of our ingredients spread out, ready to go. If you don't wanna make your lentils, you can buy them canned, but making lentils from scratch is actually ridiculously easy. So I will leave that up to you. And I usually add sage to this recipe, but we don't have any. I'm gonna chop up my onion and my garlic because I wanna saute them quickly before mixing everything in the bowl. You can keep it raw. I personally don't mind that, but some people don't like such a strong onion garlic flavor. So for the purpose of this video, we will be slicing, dicing, and sauteing. Let's cut this guy up. I was trying to be like really slick there and that didn't work at all. Don't do this. This is why we can't have nice things. And I'm gonna be realistic with you. My stove is clean, so I'm gonna just add this to my onions. <laughs> So we added in one whole onion, including the parts that fell on the stove. And now I'm gonna add some garlic. I learned this from the Food Network. You should always have a garbage bowl, so that way you don't have to make a million trips over to the garbage. It's just more organized. I'm a very organized cook. Also, when I cut the top and bottom off that garlic, I'm going to be using this. When it comes to garlic, I always overdo it. This is normal for me. I'm going to be using probably like four or five cloves. And for me, that's not that much. And they're big boys. If you can't get the skin, that was gross, whatever. If you can't get the skin off your garlic, be very careful. And if you cut yourself, you didn't learn this from me with the side of your knife, not the top, so you slice your hand off, but the side, put it down on the garlic and hit it with the back of your hand. I share that with a lot of resistance because there's always somebody out there that does it exactly how they're not supposed to do it. But if you do it right, it releases the flavors of the garlic too. From crushing it, I don't know if it's focusing.
Now I'm gonna add this to my onions and let them both saute until the onions are translucent and the garlic is fragrant. You don't want the garlic to burn. I'm going to be adding about one pound worth of the Beyond Meat. Honestly, you can take any meatloaf recipe and just swap out the chopped meat for the Beyond Meat. The patties are about a quarter pound each. So two patties equal half a pound, four patties equal a pound. I can't do math, but I know four quarters equal a dollar. <laughs> The patties were in the freezer and they defrosted. So they're slightly, slightly frozen. I'm just using a mashed potato masher guy to smush these guys up. So they look like this. Looks like chopped meat, which might be gross for some people. And now the Beyond Meat burgers have a lot of fat content to them. So instead of doubling this, what I've already done, I'm using the lentils as another source of protein to also cut the fat rather than adding two more packs of Beyond Meat burgers. And the lentils, I'm going to put in my food processor and pulse them till it creates like a paste because I want it to look <laughs> I want it to look like this <laughs> and not so much like whole lentils. Also, it holds everything together really well and yes. We've got our blended mixture. I added the onions and garlic to it and pulsed it just to create more of a consistency that kind of mirrors what we've got going on in here. And now I'm gonna add the lentils and onions and garlic to the Beyond Meat burgers. All right, now we have about one cup of breadcrumbs. I like this brand. If you don't have breadcrumbs, a quick way to make them yourself is to take, honestly, crackers, bread, rice cakes, blend them in your food processor and like create a powder consistency similar to breadcrumbs, and there you go. You can season them yourself. They're honestly a lot better most of the time, but it's personal preference. So now this is also personal preference. I'm gonna be adding one cup of ketchup. You can do barbecue sauce if you don't wanna do ketchup, which I'm not gonna do. I'm one of those people that if ketchup makes a farting sound, I'll laugh, even if we're out to a fancy dinner. Yes, a fancy dinner that has ketchup. You're welcome. All right, and now I've got the onions and garlic because that was already in this situation. I'm adding a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. This brand is vegan. Make sure that you look and make sure that you look and check to see that it is because I'm pretty sure there's anchovies in regular Worcestershire sauce. And we don't want any of that in our meal. I'm adding liquid smoke, which is entirely optional, but we're living on the wild side. And at this point, we just have to add salt, pepper, and our seasoning. So I'm using thyme, tarragon, 
and rosemary. I usually use fresh herbs and I also usually use sage, but we don't have any right now. So I'm going to improvise. This is what it looks like. So you want everything to be well incorporated, which it looks like it is. This is a pretty wet loaf. I swear I'm an adult. <laughs> If you want it to be a little bit more dry, you can add more breadcrumbs, but that's basically it. Hello? Hi, thank you so much. Bye. Business. I tasted it because this isn't technically raw chopped meat. And it's always good to taste stuff that you make because if it tastes good when it's not cooked slash raw slash this, you know it's gonna be good cooked. Even though I've made this a few times now and I know it's bomb. And I'm gonna get my little loaf pan. You can apply parchment paper to that or a little bit of like oil or whatever. I'm not gonna do anything because the Beyond Meat burgers have oil in them. So I'm gonna transfer this to a loaf pan and pop it in the oven. I don't know the dimensions of this. I feel like loaf pans are pretty much all the same. That's what it looks like. And if you wanna make like designs and stuff in it, I don't, I don't know if that's what like what people do. This is also personal preference, but you can add barbecue sauce or ketchup or both to the top of it before you bake it. I personally find that if you put it on in the beginning, it burns and just gets like really weird. So around 30 minutes into cooking, I'll add some of that on. Goes in the oven, 350 for about 50 minutes to an hour. And yeah. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. <laughs> I just added the barbecue sauce to the top and we've got about 15 minutes left, something like that. There are about two minutes left. I ended up adding about 10 more minutes to the overall cooking time and I'm gonna take it out, see, see how it's looking. I took my pictures, she's looking good, and I'm gonna taste it and let you know how it is. So I like the end, because it has like that crispy butt. <laughs> Let's try this. I mean, obviously it's amazing. It's got so much flavor. Honestly, it tastes very similar to meatloaf. It's good. Let me know if you 
Let me know if you guys liked this video, if you would make this recipe. I'm open to questions, comments, feedback, all that good shit. Feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. That was weird. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs>